What is up guys, welcome back to Bottled and Bond. It's a, it's a new year and I really hope that new year has blessed many of you guys, hasn't necessarily blessed us. Um, I appreciate you guys coming back to the channel to see what I got for review today. Hopefully it's one that you guys have had or you guys have been eyeing. But it's it's been a crazy day, man. It's been a crazy week, crazy new year from heading down to North Carolina, trying to come back up, getting caught in this uh, winter storm, I-95, if you guys heard about it in the news, I-95 North, I mean, four and a half hour drive, it was a 14 hour drive, staying at a hotel, losing power uh, for multiple days, toughing it out, no power, all my fish gone, they're done, they're, they died, they froze, um, having to stay at a hotel, and, <laughs> I mean, it's overlooking the city right now, but it's just wild, man. It's wild, and we're, we're still hunkered down here, and we're, we're still waiting for power, you know? It's it's crazy. It's crazy how this new year started, how you wish upon snow, and then you get a winter storm, and then you're screwed. But you guys, you guys are not here to hear me rant and rave and complain and hear sob stories about me and my fish. You guys are here to hear about a whiskey review. So today, we are actually heading back to the Huber's Winery, the Huber's Distillery over in Indiana, and we're gonna check out their Bottled in Bond. Bam! So this, and I hope the lighting on everything is right, the sun's coming down already, but this is Starlight Distillery's uh, Carl T. Huber's Bottled in Bond, Indiana Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This is coming in obviously at 100 proof, so 50% ABV. This is aged for four and a half years. Carefully crafted, all right, so Selected by Carl T. Hubers to master uh, master distiller over at uh, Starlight Distillery. Um, listen, there's not much for me to say. This is whiskey, four and a half H, uh, year age statement. It's bottled in bond. All right, I don't necessarily know the mash bill on this, but uh, yeah, you know, we all know what bottled in bond is, and so be it. If you guys know the mash bill, you think it's something important, let everybody else know in the comments below. Let's pop this baby up. Oh yeah, huh? smells pretty good. Hmm, not bad at all, man. A little bit strange to see on, on the nose to begin with, but you know, classic. Oh, a little cherry too. And I really enjoy it whenever I get whiskeys that have all the classic bourbon notes, the honey, the vanilla. This is strong on vanilla, by the way. The vanilla, a little bit of caramel, brown sugar, you know, all that deliciousness, but then you throw in some cherries you throw in, you know, just other things, you know, coffee. Uh, this, like I said, this has a little bit of an astringency. Could be the high proof, not too sure. But definitely like a cherry, caramel, candy-like on the nose. Oh yeah, this is, like I said, classic. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna overwhelm you guys with all the notes. If you guys know already what classic bourbon-like notes are, just list them all down there. You're picking this up. The only additions, to all the classic bourbon like notes that I pick up on the nose is a little bit of a cherry and a little bit of an astringency to it. Other than that, phenomenal nose, great, I like it. Let's try it, cheers. Mm. Oh, a little different. Kind of sweet going in, but mm. I don't wanna say that was a toffee. That was more like a uh, vanilla cookie, maybe. So it's it's sweet, and I do like it. I do enjoy it. A little bit of a cinnamon burn towards the uh, the finish. It's it's good. I don't mind it. Yeah, man, it's weird. You get that little bit of a honey sweetness. But then the sweetness is more like a brown sugar sweetness. And then, I don't know, man. It's it's good. It's an easy sipper. I want to see what this tastes like on the rocks. I forget what the price point is. If you know what the price point, let me know in the comments below. But it shouldn't be no more than about 50, 60 bucks. And like on the palate, man, it's just, it's it's sweet, you know. I can't rave a lot about it, but for a bottled in bond, it's a good bottled in bond. Um, 
taking the price away, I mean, I, I, I'd recommend it. It's, it's sweet. Some people may, may pick up other things. The nose, the nose, like I said, the nose is phenomenal. Classic bourbon nose. On the palate, let's give it a third sweet. Yeah, you know, just some of that brown sugar sweetness with the honey, a little bit of that caramel taste. And like I said, maybe like a vanilla cookie, something along those lines. And that cinnamon as well towards the finish. Just a, just a tiny little small cinnamon burn. I'd recommend it. So there you have it, man. These, these last few days have just been incredible. It's just been wild as I stare out into the, the city of Stafford, man. It's, you see the snow. The roads are finally clear. We thought we had light today and then it got taken away. It's like a tease. Like, your light's back on. Time to go home. Then, bam, light's back off. It's the crews are working nonstop, man. You know, you got a Stafford County, you got many other counties. You even got West Virginia, from what I heard. Um, the utility truck came all the way to help out the neighborhood, and it's the neighborhood has helped out themselves. Um, a lot of great people in my neighborhood, and I've tried helping out, you know, as best as I could. Uh, but it's, it, and I will tell you, you know, this I'm not getting paid by GMC or General Motors at all, but I will tell you. It, if it wasn't for that truck, we'd be stranded like everybody else was a few days ago. That uh, that Sierra AT4 with this four-wheel drive, 6.2 liter V8, that was definitely a great purchase right before this havoc of a time. If you guys have had Starlight Distilleries, Bottled and Bond, Huber's <laughs> Bottled and Bond, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys thought, what you guys picked, or let me know what whiskeys I should be reviewing next here on Bottled and Bond. Preferably not from a hotel room. I'm Ozzy. This is the Starlight Distilleries Bottled and Bond Indiana Straight Bourbon Whiskey from the Starlight Distillery in Indiana. And this is Bottled and Bond. Cheers.